How's it going everyone? After a long await, PlayStation Plus game catalog for Extra is live right now. I saw the banner, but I have not gone through it, it, it in its entirety. Excuse me, do this kind of quickly, but I already like it what I'm seeing based on the banner. So right off the top, we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Definitive Edition. Now, that is just one game out of the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition trilogy, but, um, you know, that trilogy still goes for like $30 on sale. It's on sale right now for $30, bucks, so... That's decent value if you want to play Vice City. You're going to have the option to do that. And it's a pretty iconic game. I know people meme to death on the Grand Theft Auto trilogy, and rightfully so. I don't know why it had that much anticipation being a $60 collection of games from, like, the mid-2000s. I get they're very iconic games, but uh, nonetheless, it just came together so quickly that it always seemed kind of fishy to me. But now, you're not paying a lot for it. You're getting it through your subscription service. I think it's a nice little addition. Next up. Big one here, Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Excellent, excellent addition, and it seems like uh, Sony and Square Enix have had a pretty strong partnership when it comes to PS Plus Extra, when it comes to stuff like Final Fantasy XV, Trials of Mana is in there, and now Dragon Quest XI is in there as well. Very throwback RPG, but also incredibly accessible for a newer audience. Charming cast of characters, uh, interesting story, not a blowaway story by any stretch of the imagination, but I like the art style as well. Soundtrack is fantastic. Definitely, uh, for JRPG fans, you should play it. Uh, worthwhile, uh, worthwhile for your time and your subscription service. I mean, for your time, it's a lengthy game, so uh, pack a lunch because you're going to be busy for a while with that one. Speaking of packing a lunch and being busy for a while, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is another major addition. Um, you guys know my opinions on Assassin's Creed these days. I'm not completely hot on the franchise. However, when I talk to people that love the newer style Assassin's Creed games, Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla, more often than not, I hear them say that Odyssey is their favorite. It is upgraded on PlayStation 5 with an uncapped frame rate, so that is fantastic. I played quite a bit of Odyssey, and I had my fun with it, but again, it just got a little bit too grindy for my liking and, uh, you know, a little bit too much. But 60 frames per second on PlayStation 5 is going to look fantastic, and if you're looking to sink into, uh, your teeth into something with a ton of content, Odyssey is definitely going to have that, so go check that out as well. Of course, this is a part of the Ubisoft partnership with PlayStation as they're rolling in more games throughout the year. Here. Next up, more Square Enix love here. Dragon Quest of Builders for PlayStation 4 and Dragon Quest Builders 2. Obviously, a bit of, uh, you know, Minecraft style, uh, voxel style here. But, um, yeah, I've talked to people that really, really enjoyed uh, these games. Gather minerals, craft items, and build everything imaginable as you explore a sandbox world made of blocks and packed with memorable characters and dangerous monsters. Use the power of creation and battle against the reigning Dragon Lord and restore peace to the Shattered Realm. Then you have Dragon Quest Builders 2 as well. The block building role-playing game includes a charming single-player campaign and a robust multiplayer building mode that supports up to four players online set off to revive a forsaken world alongside a mysterious companion uh, then take your builder online and join your friends to collaborate and create something special more square enix love here dragon quest heroes the world trees woe and the blade below and then dragon quest heroes 2 explorers edition of course this is your dynasty warrior style action adventure rpg if you're into that you're probably gonna enjoy Dra uh, dq heroes but they're fun action titles if you do want to enjoy it uh you can play the games cooperatively as well if that's something you want to get into here we go inside has been added i talked this game up non-stop and unfortunately compared to Play Dead's other title in Limbo, Inside from a critical reception, I feel like gets the same love. I feel like from a fan base perception, like not enough people have played Inside. I don't know if that's just uh, my perception of it, but I feel like everybody should play Inside. It's once again a darker, you know, thematic title that is super, super uh, uh, atmospheric. Hunted and alone, a boy finds himself drawn into the center of a dark project. This dark narrative-driven platformer combines intense action with challenging puzzles. It has been critically acclaimed for its moody art style, ambient soundtrack, and and unsettling atmosphere. Next up, here's another really nice addition, The Medium. Now, The Medium's a game that I initially played through uh, with Xbox Game Pass because it dropped day one with Game Pass. It didn't drop day one with PS Now or any subscription service on PlayStation, so $50 was a little bit of a tall ask for a game that came out eight months prior on Xbox and PC, and you're asking for a $50 price tag. Well, now that it's available through PS Plus Extra, I would say give this game a shot. If you're into psychological horror titles, this is a really, really interesting one. Dual reality gameplay that is a bit trippy. Um, you know, I don't think it's perfect in all regards, but also, again, psychological, atmospheric, a lot of puzzles, a lot of interesting puzzles in this one. 
one as well. Not a game I'd spend $30, $40, $50 on, but as a part of a subscription service, if you're into horror games, I think you're going to enjoy the medium quite a bit. Give it a shot. I think, uh, you know, it's one of the more underrated games in recent memory. Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. <laughs> this is so funny that this is being recommended, uh, or this is on PS Plus Extra, excuse me, because me and my boys just got into a rant. It was really my boy got into a rant about how much he hates Boruto and how much he thinks Boruto is ruining the legacy of Naruto. Maybe sound off in the comment section down below. I haven't watched too much of Boruto, so I can't speak on that, but like, man, this guy was going off last night. But nonetheless, multiplayer competitive combat is the name of the game as two teams of four face off on the battlefield to prove who the best group of ninjas are. Build a four player team selecting from fan favorite Naruto characters and go online and join up with friends to compete against other teams for eight ninja, uh, eight way ninja classes, uh, clashes. So there you go with that. Maybe that'll bolster the online community as well. We got the Assassin's Creed Chronicles titles. Those are being rolled out. PS4 uh, for uh, China, India, as well as Russia. These are the 2.5D action stealth titles. A little bit different. Uh, definitely not for everyone and definitely a different take on Assassin's Creed, but those are added as well. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered has been added as well as Assassin's Creed Syndicate now there is a star icon on the PlayStation blog next to Syndicate, so I'm pretty sure when I scroll down, it's going to say that Syndicate's broken on PS5. Fingers crossed that they got it fixed, but we'll get to that in a minute. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered being added as well. Like that as well. Uh, Liberation Remastered is included as well. That's the Vita title. I didn't enjoy that game that much. It's okay. AC3 has a very slow start, but I think it comes together really nicely towards the second half of the game. It does also have the solo DLC content, which is nice, and... Uh, yeah, another nice addition. I thought the real world section of Assassin's Creed 3 was a little bit of a head scratcher, but nonetheless. Um, then Syndicate being rolled out if they fixed it. Fantastic game. I loved it. I'm doing another playthrough on PC. Um, but if they fix it on PS5, I'll check it out there as well. Um, but yeah, Syndicate's awesome. Super underrated Assassin's Creed title. Great main characters as well. Check it out. The huge open world on top of that. And then Honokum is... Oh, Hohokum, excuse me. Uh, explore extraordinary a, a world. Become a furious flying type like being as you travel to colorful worlds. Just waiting to be explored. Interact with characters, wacky toys, and peculiar environments to uncover some very strange secrets. And then, circling back to Syndicate, yes, noted. Available on PS4 only. The game is borked on PS5. Let's get that fixed, Ubisoft. Come on, I want to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate on PS5. That'd be nice. Okay, PlayStation Plus Premium. Yakuza 3 Remastered, Yakuza 4 Remastered, Yakuza 5 Remastered. That's fine. Um, you know, we all knew the Yakuza games were going to get rolled out. If you already beat Yakuza 0 and Kiwabi and Kiwabi 2, I mean, man, you're a fiend at that point. But nonetheless, 3, 4, and 5 are going to be available for you as well. PS3 streamable titles, Limbo, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Castlevania Lords of Shadow, awesome game there, too bad it's only streamable, and then Everyday Shooter are the premium games, no PSP and PS1 games, Sony, PlayStation, what are we doing here, this is by far the weakest part of PlayStation Plus, this, this is egregious, okay, now, now, now this is getting egregious, that, uh, premium you're not even gonna roll out new psp and ps1 am i missing something are they gonna roll it out maybe much ado about nothing i don't know maybe i'm going through this too fast but in the blog post nothing for psp and ps1 this is why people signed up a lot of people signed up just for the psp and ps1 games and the ps2 games nobody wants to stream games at least i'm gonna say 80 percent of people don't want to stream games and the yakuza titles are definitely nice but man we want the classics we want the classics with trophies let's get on that come on that's just that's just hot garbage. I can't even I can't even like sugarcoat that. That's that that's absolutely terrible. Uh, hopefully, you know I'm making a big fuss about it, and they'll add those games sometime in the future because sometimes we do get like stealth PSP and PS1 game drops. But uh, yeah, absolutely egregious there. But that's gonna do it for me. I think the extra editions are great. Premium editions leave a lot to be desired with the lack of classic titles. But Yakuza 3, 4, and 5 definitely nice editions there. That's gonna do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.